We know there'll be some medical demand. I mean, we, this has been sold in Canada, the R.V. Smith case. Patients have the right to consume uh, cannabis in whatever form that they like. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll sell into that channel as we're permitted. But definitely on the recreational side, uh, we know from, uh, let's say, the illicit market and a lot of dispensaries that used to be open and by and large are now closed, uh, edibles is a pretty, let's say, 20% of revenue and, and looking at mature markets in that, in that realm. So if we assume the cannabis market you know, starts somewhere around $5 billion in Canada and grows to 10, we would expect it to be about a billion dollar uh, segment overall growing maybe to $2 billion. And, wow. and so, yeah, just we, in Canada? Just in Canada, yeah. And huh. so, so we think that'll be a combination of things, whether, you know, chocolates or candies or gum. And uh, we have other products like uh, re licensed from Ruby, like cannabis sugar and salt, uh, Ruby gems, which are uh, dehydrated organic fruit with cannabis sugar uh, that oh. we'd like to introduce. So there'll be a really big variety of products out there. Solve I think, and the get the munchies years. at the same time. <laughs>